Thank you for listening to Lone Star Community Radio. This program was broadcasted and recorded live from the LSCR studios in downtown Conroe, Texas. Lone Star Community Radio is supported by listeners like you. Donate and sponsor today. For more information on getting involved with Lone Star Community Radio, contact us at lscrstudios at gmail.com or visit us online at www.irlonestar.com. Hey guys, going to share a little tune about moving at the speed of light, which if you're standing and watching someone, they look like they're going really slow, and if you're watching the person go at the speed of light, they're going really fast, which is sometimes how I feel like my life is. The Speed of Light, my latest single. <clears throat> So this next little song is uh, well, a song I wrote uh, when I thought I was out on my own, sort of fighting the world and uh, making, uh, I guess, everything happen for my family. And I didn't realize that my family was bubbling up all this underground love for me. And 
I was trying to be a martyr, you know? I don't know, Alex, are you ever a martyr? I know. <laughs> Michael can tell you, sometimes I'm like the martyr guy. Uh, so it's called Underground. I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, actually, Michael and I uh, and Rochelle just finished cutting an acoustic me album with a lot of these songs in it. And it's gonna come out either late this year or early next year. And uh, this particular uh, rendition of the song is on it. She is an amazing singer, she by is. the way. She is, she's pretty amazing. All right, Underground. <laughs> that hole in me your love is breaking me down your love your love your love your love is running underground it's building up that hole in me your love is breaking me down your love
Underground Love. Uh, so this next, uh, well, Underground Love, you can you can hear what that was all about. I think uh, <clears throat> this next song, um, my dad sent me a box of uh, stuff in the mail randomly. I don't know if your dad's ever done that to you before or not, or your mom. Right. Uh, and in it, I was a bunch of pictures of me playing with cars and trucks and stuff from when I was a kid. And uh, I found myself, you know, looking through it, and I noticed I was wearing like a red shirt, or I was wearing, I was playing with a red fire truck. It was even a girl with a red bikini up on the back wall, you know. Oh, I was yeah. like, all right, uh, a lot of red. And so, like a week later, I went in my closet. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna wear something red today. And I went in my closet. Not a single thing that was red at all. Uh, everything was blue, gray, and black. I'm like, oh, where, where did the red go? <laughs> like a, and a reminder, like, okay, get the passion back in your life. Right. And so I wrote a song, of course, being a songwriter about it. And this uh, song is called <laughs> Red, period, because right. you need to keep it in your life. <laughs> He's wearing a red t-shirt, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I got my Yellowstone red on today. <laughs> Down the street, daylight turn into red. Can't get the adrenaline out of my head. Moving up the speed, going way too fast. Flame throw and thunder make me feel that red. Off in the sky, red's turning down. Dripping from my ears and it's making me drown. Color shifting, changing, driving way
Remember to keep it in your life. Yeah, I think it's, it's kind of easy to let your passion slip away in the day-to-day journey of life and just like, next thing you know, you're like just... You get caught up. You're like the gray man. You're gray. Stuff, right. You're just nothing but gray. All right. Um, yeah. <clears throat> All right. So we've got two more for you guys. Uh, this next one, uh, as you guys know, I might be a little bit nerdy. I might be wearing my math is my superpower oh, bracelet today. Yeah, such a uh, brain. Yeah, I know. I'm a nerd. Uh, anyway, this song, uh, this next tune is uh, uh, it's metaphysical, it's poet- poetic. And it's mathematics. It's all about boundary layers, breaking through them in your life, whether they be mathematical, physics, or wherever you find them. Anyway, boundary layer. At the supersonic speed, I can see what I need. I'm soaring faster and higher, breaking through. I believe in me. We find our limits when we're young, slowing down before we become. They tell me I'm too small to play and that I don't look like them. and find a light Listen to everyone's advice They tell me I'm too old to change and that I need to rearrange my mind Where can I find the strength in me to break my boundaries and make me see Pushing at the supersonic speed I can see what I need I'm soaring faster and higher Breaking through, I believe in me. More Michael. layer baby break through them all so positive all your music i love it brother <laughs> rock with a positive vibe don't you know mm-hmm. all right speaking of which <clears throat> the rarity the song the last song we're going to play for you guys uh, is a song that um, i wrote early this year uh, i got in a rare bad mood I'm uh, usually a super positive guy, but like a very bad man, like, okay. I couldn't, uh, couldn't figure out how to get out of it, you know, a few days this way and a few days that way, and next thing you know, uh, well, you'll hear in the song how I got rid of it, but uh, this uh, song is called uh, Seven Deadly Moods, and it's all about getting rid of those bad moods.
Got these bad moods living in my head. Snapping and biting, they put me on it. It's like a hydra spitting with seven heads, sneaking around and trying to spread. Fear and sadness got a hold on me. Fantastic. <laughs> Mark Winters. All right. And I'm hanging out with my good friend Michael Shanks here. We uh, actually play in a trio together with Rochelle Gomez, and uh, he is a fantastic producer. And you'll get to hear that soon when the next album comes out. Fantastic. Uh -huh. Listen in Mondays at noon to hear Conroe news from local nonprofits, businesses, upcoming events, Conroe Park events, news stories, and information that matters to you with your host, Margie Taylor of Taylorized PR. For more information about being a guest, visit IRLoneStar.com slash Conroe Culture. Wow, that was fantastic. I'm here with my good friend, Mark Winters, who just put on a, a awesome five song set. And um, wow, Mark, tell us a little bit about your upcoming record and uh, I think you have some um, some shows coming up and uh, just tell us a little bit of, uh, about you. 
we, we would love to do that. But, you know, my grandmother would be mad at me if I didn't thank you, Alex, uh, for having us on the show first. Uh, I love what you're doing in the community. Uh, I think this Audio Impact show is, is amazing. Lone Star Radio up here in Conroe has got a, a fabulous vibe to it. Uh, Dick, the producer here, is, is amazing. Uh, just just uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Grandmother, for teaching me good manners. Right, right. Um, and, yeah, I'd say, um, you know, we, uh, uh, we have a lot of great things going on. We have uh, four shows coming up uh, this in the next six weeks. Uh, so a theater show at a place called Theater Suburbia, which is a great place to take in, like a listening room style uh, show. Do you know um, the dates? Uh, I will have them. Um, I, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, I'll remember them. Uh, and then we have a show at uh, East River Nine. Uh, we're opening for, uh, for a, a band called uh, The Young Fables. Uh, they were just selected to play at the Americana Festival as a showcase act. Uh, they're amazing, and that we're so excited. That is a fantastic venue, yeah. and I'm hoping to yeah. do yep. some shows there. Yep, yep. 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 Uh, and then music, uh, play a little golf. That, play some golf. Uh, it's a great place to take in uh, activities for sure. Um, and then while my good friend uh, Michael here is uh, in Utah, I think uh, you know, he's going to be hanging out. Uh, Rochelle and I, the other part of the trio, uh, are going to play our first So Far Sounds show, uh, which is a really cool um, kind of speakeasy secret place where a lot of uh, super amazing artists are discovered or perform uh, in unlikely event locations. Right. Uh, they, they, they let you know the place. Off the wall. They let you know the place the day of the show. Right. Uh, so we know it's going to be in East uh, downtown, but other than that, we don't know right. where. Uh, and I'll get you the dates for those. Do. Um, and then we've got uh, a new... Uh, so, so one of the interesting journeys that, uh, that I've been on with Michael, um, we have a mutual friend, John Edward Ross. Oh. <laughs> I'm hanging out in John Edward Ross' studio, and John Edward has produced some songs for me. And uh, this really cool-looking guy comes strolling in the door, and... Uh, um, John was like, oh, yeah, this is my friend Michael, right? He's visiting us from Spain. I'm like, oh, okay. Hey, Michael, how you doing? We started talking, and he just had this great energy he was putting right. off. So I was like, all right, uh, if you're ever back in town, we got to get together and jam. Um, and that was, that, that was, was about a year ago, yeah. So a year yeah, ago? A you year put up ago. with me for a year? <laughs> 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 what were you thinking, man? I got to know. What were you thinking? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. No. I, uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, so I was like, all right. So when he came, he came back in town uh, a few months later, and we got together and jammed. Now it's like, okay, uh, I love your style. I love his. It, if you hadn't noticed, uh, he's got the most amazing sense of groove. Yeah. Right. I'm like his student of groove. I'm like so natural. Soaking it in. Yeah. So unpremeditated. It's yeah. Improv. Yeah. Love it's, it. it's pretty amazing. Um, and so we started playing showcases together and playing out around town together. Uh, and we rearranged a lot of my music to be two acoustic guitars. Right. And before I had played in a four piece rock band. Right. Um, and so maybe a couple of months later after that, I met Rochelle Gomez at a a mutual friend, we have a, the same vocal coach, mm -hmm. uh, Tom McKinney. Um, and I was telling Tom, I, I'd love to get together with a uh, female uh, singer to do some duos, right? Because there's lots of opportunity to perform as a duo around town. And I just would love to, you know, sing harmonies with a, a female voice. And he said, well, you know, I, I've got this lady who, uh, Rochelle, who uh, has been asking for someone to play with too. And oh, by the way, she's the very next lesson. So just stick around an extra right. couple of minutes, right? right? And uh, and you can meet her. Um, and so uh, you know, first of all, you know, I don't know. I'm I'm a religious man, so I thank God for opening doors in my life. You know, uh, putting people me, in your path. You know, he put he put you in my path. Yeah, right there's there. no doubt about that. Uh, Michael, Rochelle, and ever since then. Uh, we've been playing lots of shows. We play uh, shows out at Lee College, and we play them down in Richmond and, and downtown. And so I bet the first time you heard her sing, you were like, oh, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I know. You were like, I oh want to get some of that. I, I was like, okay, I gotta, I've got to learn. I, I, that's that's kind of my thing. I find the people who are just the very best at what they do, and I just I love to You know, to when learn. you played my uh, Christmas showcase for Star of Hope, on that big PA and that stuff and that big stage. Yeah. She's 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 meant to be on that big she's, stage. She's got it. I mean all of y'all yeah. together, but that girl has got yeah. she's got the juice. Star power. Yeah, yeah. she does. She, yeah. She, 
and she's an amazingly kind person and thoughtful. Real, and, real genuinely so, sweet. Yeah, mm. yeah, but man, she can. And so uh, when we were when we were getting together earlier, uh, I guess it, for early in our trio, um, she sang this song called "Meet the Master." Are you a Greta Van Fleet fan? Oh, I know they're the ones that sound like Led Zeppelin. Yeah, a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're they're what like teenagers or yeah, they're like in their like early twenties, early twenties yeah. maybe, yeah. right? So they had this song, and he's he's he sings uh, like an I guess an alto or something like that. He's super head voice like uh, guy, um, and so we we played this song called "Meet the Master of Theirs," where it's like way up in the stratosphere, right? And she. Mm-hmm. Crushes no worries. It. No, crushes no it. Worries. Yeah, it's amazing. I no. think she can even do a whistle tone or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she's amazing. I, I, we love uh, working with her. So uh, I guess a long-winded way to say we started rearranging all of our music for us to fit together as a trio. And so we, we uh, Michael, um, how long have you been producing now? Oh, about five years. <clears throat> about five years? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we, we called it Studio Shanks. Uh, his dog's name is Nala, oh. and so we think Nala is the actually the producer. Right. <laughs> Michael's is the assistant, <laughs> uh, and so we get uh, we we get to we go to Studio Shanks, and uh, he arranged all of our music, all this acoustic music, right. in the most amazing way. And he, he we've got some great harmonies back and forth between me and, and Rochelle, and uh, it's been it's real full it's been, sound. It's fabulous. Yeah, I'm going to send you the a private link so you can hear the oh, the wait. album. We're shopping yes. it around to record. If you guys know any record labels out there, please let us know. We're <laughs> shopping right now. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's kind of where my sounds evolved to, this kind of folk rock, acoustic rock, mm-hmm. pop rock, acoustic stuff. I don't know. Positive what, rock. What would you call it? What genre would you put it in? Um, earth rock. Earth rock. Yeah. Dude, that's so, I'm gonna, i got to look that up now. <laughs> I just made it up. Uh, Chat GPT, sure what is earth rock? <laughs> Jazz. Uh, improv. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd say, you know, uh, and I want to thank you, Alex. I think you've done a lot of things in the singer-songwriter community. Uh, I know your your background is big, is, is in the larger band, the rock band right, stuff. Right, right. Uh, but, you know, I, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm uh, involved with this, the Houston Songwriting Association. Uh, and we have a lot of amazing members. Yeah, I just think, a little bit. Uh, maybe... <laughs> I think we have maybe 70 or 80 members now. He's the president uh, of the Houston Songwriters Association. Uh, we, have, we have a great group. Um, and uh, Alex has, has done everything he possibly can every time he has an event to have a songwriter stage that we can bring original mm-hmm. singer-songwriters out in showcase. Um, and we're very, very appreciative of that. I, I, have some, so. uh, I have some amazing plans this year, next year, to work in, with you and all the songwriters together. Uh, like I think I've told you before, about a block or two away from here is a 2,000-seat amphitheater called Heritage Park, That's right. and it is yeah. beautiful. It sounds great. Yeah. So Let's hopefully all of us, Lone Star Community Radio, and we'll start yeah. doing a bunch of really amazing stuff and helping out the scene. <clears throat> but yeah. I'm just so glad that I, I got you here because we were talking about it. I was like, hey, Scott Dick, you might give me my own yeah. show. And you know, that's, that's awesome. I thought he was in a yeah. band. Yeah, I thought he was in a band. Wanted to play one of my shows. No, I have good. a radio show. And that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and we and the songwriting association. We we've done a lot in the last year. We're trying to showcase uh, writing talent around the city. Uh, so we have a, a young writers group. We have uh, we've done I think seven showcases over the last fourteen months. Tell us and about we have your a, Monday nights at Dan yeah. Electros. I was just, I was headed there. So so uh, if you know Sean uh, mm-hmm. out at uh, Dan Electros. Uh, he bought the bought Dan Electros maybe uh, 18 months ago, I think. Um, he runs a, a Splice Records, and Sean um, and I started talking about how to promote the songwriter community in and around Houston because there was a lot of you know open mic over here and this guy over there. It was just, it was it was everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, so uh, we we got to talking and we decided uh, that the Songwriting Association could host a. Uh, Monday night, uh, the third Monday of every month, showcase. Um, and so we, we started off with members, um, but then it quickly expanded it out. I think we're on our fourth showcase now, fourth month. Um, and uh, we have amazing uh, performers. Uh, it's, it's phenomenal if you come Very out and diverse. listen. Very diverse. Yeah, in all different con- writing genres. So if you're a songwriter out there in Conroe and you want to swing down to uh, 
to beautiful Houston, the north side of Houston, to Dan Electro's, uh, you know, uh, send us a note at the Songwriting Association, um, and we're happy to, to work you in. Or, or find me on, on uh, Instagram, Mark Winters Music, um, and I'm happy to help get you involved. Um, I'm excited to bring writers from around the community either to the showcase or to be more involved in the writing community. Um, I think it's, uh, we have amazing writers in Houston. Uh, it's just people don't have a place to go and enjoy them. We're lucky to have somebody like you, Mark, in the way that you are and the way you represent the association because all I've ever had is just such wonderful times there. Yep. And uh, I forgot what you bought me to eat the last time, but it was delicious. I don't know what it was, but it was good. Kojak's. Uh, oh, Kojak's, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. there is good. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. We, we have our, meet, our monthly meeting is at Kojak's, and then our showcase is at Dan Electro's. And we actually did a showcase uh, with Barry Coffing uh, for launch, uh, uh, the, the launch program here in Houston. Um, that down was at fun. Coco's. Yeah, um, down at, uh, at Coco's on the canal, which uh, the guys who, who operate, own and operate that are, are really cool as well. Uh, so, hey, get, getting out, get, making places for original music to, to live and breathe, you know? Yeah. So lucky to have you on our show and all the wonderful things that we're doing. Just wow! You know? I see you looking at my math as a superpower bracelet. Right, right. right? It is. You really want one of those, don't you? Oh, I would love one. Okay, all right. <laughs> I really would. But you have to tell me who uh, who is Archimedes? He is a famous Greek philosopher. Dude, yeah, that Damn. is rocking. Okay, but is it really? Damn. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So look, I, like I'm nerdy. Right, I'm like, okay, boy, the theory of buoyancy and a lot of this and that and the other, right? Okay, so nerd out, yes. Michael tells me, though, that Archimedes is responsible for designing? The death ray. The death oh, ray. Oh, wow. That, see, he's just cool. Yeah, he's, 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 he's he just wouldn't even know cool. it. Like, okay, who knew, right? Archimedes More is than charges. just a badass musician. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there yeah. you go. No, uh, that's awesome. Yeah. I, uh, you know, lots of uh, Jeopardy, you know, useless when will leonardo da vinci be born just just all this crazy information that yeah uh, lucky guess so rattle and random but no i think it's more than luck but um yeah guys um we're wrapping it up here with my good friend mark winters have such an uh, um, amazing time is there anything you would like to say a little bit i mean i know it's mark's time but you're like in his band and you're an amazing player. And oh, thank you. I think you. people would like to hear a little thank bit you, about Alex. it. Thank you, Alex. Well, I went disc golfing about a week ago, and uh, <laughs> I got some nasty poison ivy, so y'all watch out out there. That's right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> um, I'm Michael Shanks. I'm, uh, I'm from Houston, H-Town. Uh, and, yeah, I, uh, I've been doing music a long time. I've toured all around the world. Um China, uh, used to live in Spain, been all over Germany, Italy, playing music, and um, wondering minstrel. That's me. That's right. Yeah. And, Never uh, saw a stage you didn't like. And now uh, I'm also a professor of guitar and uh, history rock and roll at Sam Houston State. Very cool. Just down the, the road. Bearcats. Right. Yep, eat them up, right. cats. Eat them up, cats. Well, guys, um, this is uh, coming to the end of the show. We have the most awesome Narissa Bond, who I met at one of your showcases at Kojak's. And she's up next. She's a phenomenal singer-songwriter, got her own unique style. Um, definitely tune in to check her out. But, guys, thank you, Mark, for coming out and being such a world-class guy and, and helping me. Uh, realize uh, what a what a wonderful opportunity uh, that Dick has given me to have my own show here, and I would like to thank Dick again. Uh, I don't think he gets enough credit uh, because he wears all the hats. He's the engineer, the producer, the owner. You know, I honestly think he's cloned himself. <laughs> and I think he might. I think be wearing, there's two of them. He might be wearing the MW Music hat right now. The rock with a positive <laughs> yeah, vibe. Sure. Thank you, Dick. Thank You're you, amazing, sure. brother. Thank you. <laughs> so, guys. Um, we're going to um, call it an afternoon. Thank you again, Mark. Uh, Texas Songwriter Alliance, Audio Impact on Lone Star Community Radio. I'm your host, Alex Lozano, 
And thank you so much uh, for coming out again, Mark. It's such a pleasure. Thank you, Alex. All right, thank see you, Michael. Alex. Thank you. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you, Dick. Audience of One, Wednesdays at 10 a.m. right here on Conroe's 106.1 and 104.5. Listen to the brain droppings of local hosts, me, Andrew Belschner, along with the jewel of Montgomery County Radio, Dick Schisler. Topical musings, news stories, oddities, or just weird conversations that we normally have with ourselves, all mixed together with the occasional guest. You can also find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Apple Podcasts. Sun is rising over my shoulder Driving fast in a borrowed car Yes, I know where I am going Even though I've never been there before Faded lands roll down this highway Where the trees grow up to the side of the road I've got delta dreams on my mind River love overflows Ten hours and counting Nine hours to go Eight hours have gone by Only two more to go Virginia to the Carolinas Carolinas to Georgia on my Yes, I know where I am going Headed into a sunset sky Night is chasing this daylight Horizon so bright almost blind in my eyes I have known you for a lifetime Yes, I've known you before Lost you once, now I'm not gone Never ever let you go Ten hours and counting Nine hours to go Eight hours have gone by Only two more to go Virginia to the Carolinas Carolinas to Georgia on My name's Narissa Bond. It's great to be here today and um, playing some original songs. That will be on the upcoming album, which I will be recording real soon. I'm um, going to do a few more. Uh, bear with me. I'm going to retune because I care. And uh, this is such a nice studio. It's just great. Anyway, uh, this next song is a song about the Kerrville Folk Festival. And uh, and this song is called The Church of Souls. Oh, 
woman stood at the crossroads, the guitar poised in her hands. A crowd stood around her, but one man shook his head. Her melody was so beautiful, nothing could be said. Held my prayers in my heart to what might lie ahead. Clouds move swiftly by the mountains in the distance. My soul opened wide. Our hearts took communion to a big open sky in the church of souls. Poets spoke. The night wind gently blew and warmed my heart. And two girls with guitars sang so pretty and joined the angels' choir. I knew of no cathedral in the heart of this land. We all gave worship in the place where we were standing. And we stood beneath the haloed moon. Watching clouds move swiftly by the mountains in the distance, my soul opened wide. Our hearts took communion to a big open sky in the church of soul. Tuesday morn, knowing I'd return one day. An artist said to me, It can be this way always. 650 miles north, back to my home. The communion that we shared will always live inside my soul. Because we stood beneath the halo moon. Watching clouds move swiftly by the mountains in the distance, my soul open wide. Our hearts took communion to a big open sky in the church of souls. Well, the next song I would like to play for you is a song about my grandfather. So I read a lot of songs about uh, personal experiences and my family. So. so this is about my, my Texas grandfather. His name was James Marshall. He was a farmer a home builder, was a carpenter, a beekeeper, a hunter, and he had 16 children and my mother was the last of them. And his last child, my mother, he had when he was 73. And this is a song about James Marshall. His song is called Wishbone.
granddaddy found water with a divining rod It's like a wishbone turned upside down Granddaddy went hunting in the afternoon Brought a squirrel home to grandma to make squirrel stew You can put your dreams up on the shelf Hold them close to your heart and tell nobody else Or break the wishbones you've been saving Let your dreams fly free Wish and bone Grandma was 33, Grandpa was 73 years old My mama was the last child they brought into this world He said cry when they're born and laugh when they go For colored folks it was a hard, hard road You can put your dreams up on the shelf Hold them close, yard and tell nobody else. Or break the wishbones you've been saving. Let your dreams fly free. Wish and bone. Granddaddy looked like a white man But he never tried to pass Some folks didn't understand The bus driver said Sir, you can ride up front Granddaddy sat him colored It was a Jim Crow South You can put your dreams up on the shelf Hold them close, yard and tell nobody else. Or break the wishbones you've been saving. Let your dreams fly free. Wish and bone. My mama wished for me at 19 years The brown color of my skin and black satin hair Granddaddy died a few years before I was born I guess I'll meet him in heaven, my time comes You can put your dreams up on the shelf Hold them close, yard and tell nobody else. Or break the wishbones you've been saving. Let your dreams fly free. Wish and bone. Mama drove down that dusty, lone star road. Sister, brother, and I in tow To a beautiful house filled with love Barely held together with memories And the well where they drew water Found through the divine Wish and bone to do a new one for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was kind of a gift uh, to my mother. Um, 
Uh, she had told me so many wonderful stories about my grandfather, and uh, I just uh, wanted to put those stories into a song. So Great anyway, <laughs> thank you, thank you. So anyway, um, let's see. I think I will do a song that uh, will be on the next CD um, coming up, and this is... Uh, It's all about, um, I have some hobbies, and one of them is uh, photography, and uh, I take a lot of pictures of flowers, and uh, that's what this song is about. Some push through in the sidewalk tattered and torn but colorful masterpieces survivors still they grow they grow still reaching for a higher ground flowers million colored petals reaching sunlight canvas of a big blue sky flowers million colored petals reaching for the sunlight canvas of a big blue sky Blossoms fill the air that spring to life from an ancient tree. Red apples, cherries, oranges, peaches, and figs. Sweetness to soothe a bitter world. Flowers, million colored petals, reaching for the sun. Canvas of a big blue sky Flowers, million colored petals Reaching for the sunlight Canvas of a big blue sky Try to grow taller than the trees. Speckled orange, yellow, fancy pink lantern up for the butterflies flying free. Moonflowers only bloom in the cool night time only seen by few too delicate for the morning sun their lives in too soon still we are flowers million colored petals reaching for the sunlight canvas of a
Yeah, thank you for letting me share that one with you. It's kind of a new one. Um, well, I'm going to do one more for you, and this one is a... This one is about self-empowerment. <laughs> anyway, it's called False Gods. Um. Come out of the darkness when I'm no longer in need. I've been mistaken when I've felt incomplete. Be my inspiration, you won't be my God. You touch a place within me where I've already gone. No more false steps, false gods. No more false steps or false gods. I open in the spirit, open a Blessings do you take them away? Do you create confusion? Do you mean what you say? You drag me into the storm, into the calm. You treat my heart with kindness, way you would it very young. No more false steps, false gods, open a spirit up into love. Like a flower bird of paradise, falling turn into the light. No more false steps or false gods. I open in the spirit, open a love. I am feeling. Walking towards the light and away from the pain, riding the waves, the ebb and the flow. After the storm, I feel the calm of my soul. No more false steps, false gods. Open spirit up into love, like a flower bird of paradise. Marissa Bond, girl, you're absolutely fantastic singer, songwriter. Wow. Thank you. Guys, we'll be right back with our interview with Narissa Bond and um, Narissa Bond in just a few minutes. Every Friday, tune into Texas Ticket on Conroe's 104.5 and 106.1 FM with Armando Nino of Go Lake Conroe, focusing on Montgomery County area events and places. Get a feel of the Texas spirit at the event, paired with guest and vendor interviews, event coverage, and ticket giveaways, and so much more. Join us Fridays and punch your Texas ticket. For more information on the show, visit IRLoneStar.com slash Texas Ticket. Hey guys, we're back here at Audio Impact on Lone Star Community Radio with the one and only Narissa 
Barn. Um, tell us about uh, a few of your upcoming shows coming up, and then you know we'll okay. talk about some more stuff that you're up to. I am like, uh, <laughs> this is terrible. I have a few things coming up in a few months. And uh, you'll have to check my website, www.narissabond.com. I am constantly adding to that schedule. I've got a show coming up at uh, St. Andrew's uh, Presbyterian Church. Okay. And you'll have to check the website for it. It's been changed a few times. But I'm playing for their folk series. I'm doing an opener, and um, I'm looking forward to that. It's a really nice series. So check the website, and um, you can find out about all of that and when it is, what time, and all of that. So, yeah, do yourself a favor. Go check her out. Hearing her sing and seeing her perform are two different things. Her live performances are extraordinary. She's incredible stage presence i've i've been blessed by having her play uh, a sunday fun day show of mine last year and i really do appreciate you doing that uh like and follow her um i wanted to ask you a couple of questions one of them was uh, i always like to know who some of your biggest influences were music growing up oh wow i listen to everything i listen to folk music I listen I if it think. sounds good it is good yeah I listened to you know when I was a kid I listened to uh, Peter Paul and Mary and I listened to jazz I listened to like the jazz crusaders and West Montgomery and wow. Dinah Washington and and then you know folk folks like uh, George Odetta, Benson Odetta, Odetta I did listen to George Benson a little later on and uh, a what lot a of player. guitarists yeah yeah, I never, did, I didn't get a chance to see him live, but a bunch of others. But the songwriters I think that were most influential were people like uh, Joan Armatrading, uh, the British singer-songwriter, and I've seen her in concert a few times. Fabulous. And then later uh, Tracy Chapman wow. and, and all of that. That's but right. uh, now I kind of listen to a lot of different kinds of artists. I listen to a lot of pop music. I listen to a lot of. You're, uh, you've Americana. opened up yourself. Yeah, well, I felt, well, you know, folk music used to be pop music right. back in the day. So, <laughs> right. yeah, so. Back in the day. Yeah, but um. I listen, you know, I also grew up, you know, listening to the sounds of Motown and sure. Jackson 5 and Diana That's Ross right. and the Supremes and all of those incredible Etta. artists. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Aretha. Chess Records. And, oh, Aretha. <laughs> we, oh, yeah. We could go my on mom, and on. Yeah, my mom's favorite, Aretha. We listen to Aretha all the time. I wanted to ask you another question. So who inspired you the most personally um, putting an instrument? Who like Uncle Bob, my, my, my Aunt Susan? I mean, who? I mean, there had to have been one person that you need to start playing this or? Well, I wanted to play guitar because my dad played guitar. So right. he played, um, he was a professor um, of theater but he played on the weekends and mm -hmm. when he didn't have a show going on he had a quartet or a trio and so the guitars were always around and I always wanted to play and uh, they got me my own guitar I think I was seven or eight and uh, so it sounds like a house full mm -hmm. of music every day every yeah, night all the time all the time because a band would practice and we had it was like an and your eyes were like this I can't wait like, to do that it was, yeah it was great it was great I loved it and then I I later studied um, over at uh, Charlie Parker Foundation in Kansas City, so sure. I got to you know work on some jazz, and then later on, um, earlier, I had a classical teacher, and before that, when I first started out, my first teacher was a, um, she was a hippie, and she lived in a commune, and she was really cool. Was she trippy? She was. A trippy uh, hippie. She, she, was, she, was, she was wonderful, and she had an album of original tunes. And, um, and I got to like, hang yeah. out with her. I was like, yeah, I want to do this. I want to do this. But uh, she was fabulous, and I learned all the songs of uh, the rock musical Hair right. and, and all that cool stuff. Yeah. It was Jesus cool. Christ Superstar. And Jesus Christ Superstar, all that cool stuff. Yeah, I had all the books and learned all the music. and Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, hey guys, um, we're going to be wrapping up uh, today's show. Um, 
Nerissa, you're such a class act. The way you carry yourself, uh, it, it, it's only matched by your singing powers. Um, we are so glad to have you here at Audio Impact. Um, Lone Star Community Radio, this is what uh, they do. You know, they support artists like yourself and all the great music you make because music makes the world go around. And uh, so uh, appreciate your talent. Please like and follow uh, Nerissa Bon. Um, I am your host, Alex Lozano, and this is Audio Impact. You can catch her performance uh, rebroadcasted next Wednesday on Lone Star Community Radio at 7 o'clock. So be sure, like, follow Nerissa, go, go see her. And uh, do you have a, a couple of other things you want to tell the world before you? Yes, next? I would. Um, you ask who influenced me. Well, I'll tell you who made it all possible. My mom. Your mama. She's my amazing. My mom made it all possible because she took me to all the concerts. She always made that possible. I always had an What's instrument. her name? Zalima Harris. Zalima, classy lady. Yes, I've had the pleasure is. of meeting yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, she made it all possible. Without my mom, I wouldn't be playing this instrument. That that is your <laughs> uh, that is your rock. That's true. It's true. Once again, everybody, please follow Nerissa Bond. She's a fantastic singer songwriter, and uh, we really do appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, donate to Lone Star Community Radio. Uh, we're a nonprofit. And we could always use the extra money to put on the great shows. So y'all guys have a great time until we see you next Wednesday. Thank you.